All right, I got another product review for you today. I, my name is Dave Allred, and uh, one of my favorite products to review, or favorite categories to review, is survival type stuff. You know, manly stuff. You might hear my kids in the background, which that's okay. It doesn't bother me. So, here's the shovel all taken apart. This is actually called the King Kong. Let me show you that. The King Kong, and uh, it's got some cool uh, Chinese writing. King Kong 2, I guess. But anyways, uh, some of the features that this survival shovel has on the end here. you got a blunt force um, <clears throat> tip there that's good for, well, in self-defense. And if you need to break tempered glass, that can come in real handy. It's got a hollow hollow uh, on the inside so that it can house the whistle and uh, be the handle for the uh, magnesium rod here. The whistle is pretty high quality. It's made out of all metal, which some of the whistles that I've seen in the past of other shovels that I've had of this type, um, they've been made out of plastic. So um, this is a very high quality whistle. Let me just give you an idea of what it sounds like. So, I mean, if you uh, have to, to make a real loud noise and are tired of yelling, whistle comes in, uh, in handy there. Okay, so here's the knife. Typical standard knife comes with a bottle opener, saw. The blade is actually sharp, but uh, right out of the box, but could be a lot sharper. Can opener, you know, seems pretty sturdy. And you can actually unscrew this knife right here. Um, this particular shovel, the King Kong, comes with a lot of different attachments. And here's the little pamphlet that uh, you'll be able to, to see once you uh, once you buy your own. But a lot of different cool things that you can do with uh, with this survival shovel. Um, and this doesn't even show you the half of all the attachments as you can see here. It kind of tells you um, that you can add to and take away and make different and all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, that's the pamphlet. The only bad thing about the pamphlet is it's in a different language, most of it. But, you know, you get the idea by looking at the pictures. All right, so here's another section. Comes with the uh, screwdriver bit here that's reversible. Comes with, uh, obviously, flathead and the uh, Phillips screwdriver. And then the shovel head is very heavy duty, especially compared to the last ones I've had. Um, I've always liked the shovels that I've had in the past. One thing I like about this one is there's not any uh, plastic to this thing at all. It's all complete metal. Everything on the outside is metal. This is metal. The, the washer that screws in here is metal, um, this part. And all you got to do is unscrew that, and you can adjust it into a, into a hoe, and then you cinch it up, as you can see here. You know, once this hits this flat edge, then it tightens it in there nice and secure. Um, has a serrated edge, a saw edge with a little ruler on it. Has the uh, wrench fittings there. And then this side is an actual blade that is as sharp as, if not sharper, than the actual knife that comes inside of it. So um, on the back side of this, this part right here is reinforced. So you can use it as a, as a hammer if you need to hammer in some stakes or some rebar or, you know, nails or whatever it is that you're, you're going to use it for. Anyway, let me pause this video. I'll put it all together and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the shovel assembled. And I'm doing this at my kitchen table. So if you see crumbs and cookies and crafts and whatnot, that's my wife's fault. <laughs> anyway, so here's the shovel assembled. As you can see, it's pretty long. All together, it stands over two feet tall. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously is very sturdy. The thing I like about this also is that each of these sections that screws in has a little waterproofing O-ring on it. Um, so if you do want to store matches or something of value inside the, the handle, you can do that without having to worry about it getting, getting wet. So there's the shovel. I'm going to take it outside, dig a couple holes, maybe saw something with it. Give you an idea of how sturdy it is. But so far I give it five stars. I mean, it's the best one that I've had so far. Makes all my uh, my brother brother in law jealous, but uh, I really like it. Um, it also comes with a cool sh a shovel head cover. This cool little pouch. It has a little pocket right here, and uh, enough room to put the uh, entire shovel inside. Comes with a belt loop and a little strap. So, um, actually came in a box, of course, but uh, you know that was inside the box. All right, so I'm gonna pause this. I'll take this outside and and uh, we'll put it to use. All right, so my test subject for the King Kong is going to be this wickedly looking pecan tree that I chopped down that had no place in my front yard, and it's decided that it didn't want to die yet. So I'm going to tell it what exactly it should be doing, which it should be dying. So I'm going to go ahead and use the saw real fast. 
Any idea of how that works on this one. So the saw could take a while <laughs> to get through something. But as you can see there, it has made some progress. Okay, so the saw, I would say that it just needs to be sharp. You know, those teeth, those teeth on that saw just need to be a bit sharper. So if you have some time with a file, that might be the way to go. Might work more effectively on dead wood. So this is pretty dry. It actually does. Works a lot better on dead wood. All right, so there's that. Let me tighten this a little bit. Okay, now let me give it a chop with this chop here. So the knife, if I could actually hit the same spot, chops pretty well. You can kind of see there it goes, uh, you know, winning quite a bit for every chop. If I was a little bit more accurate, I'm not trying to videotape at the same time, I could probably get through that with no problem. And uh, I did feel a little rattle in there. I think I just didn't have that tightened enough. You kind of have a little rattle in the handle. It's coming unscrewed a little bit, but as long as you keep the handle screwed, it should be okay. All right, so, so far, you get an idea of how it works as far as uh, chopping and sawing. Saw works better on dead wood, and it chops in pretty pretty well. Uh, I'm sure the, sure the knife end probably works just as well as an axe. Yeah, I mean, you could split off some bark and... You can kind of see it coming unscrewed. The whole handle is coming unscrewed a little bit, but I mean, you could chop some wood into some, some finer pieces for some firewood with it, not without any problem. So I'm gonna pause this and we'll go dig with it a little bit. All right, as you can see here, I've been uh, the best. Well, I've, I've actually been actively engaged in a battle against gophers in my yard here, and uh, as you can see here, I've got the King Kong, and I'm gonna go dig me another a hole here to to set my gopher trap. Just to give you an idea of how. Um, how well this thing digs. So as you can see here, this one, this trap, I've already got a gopher in it. So I'm going to go dig another hole, set the gopher trap, and uh, use the King Kong to dig the hole with. So I'll be right back. All right, here we are. I've got a little gopher that has kind of made a little hole out of this one here. So I'm going to dig into this a little bit and uh, set my trap right here. So gives you a little bit of room, and you can kind of see your foot platforms there. A little bit of room for this. Obviously, it's got enough strength in the handle to, to pry on without any problem. So, I mean, I'm prying up some roots and stuff here, so it works pretty well. Yeah, works good. So, all together, King Kong has passed my test. I think it could improve on uh, the sharpness of the, uh, the teeth of the saw. And, uh, you know, I look forward to getting some more attachments for it, but uh, I give this thing five stars. I really like this thing. It's going in my, uh, my doomsday prepper supply, and uh, I think you should pick one up too.